Good morning. This is Colleen of Colleen's Paris. And today we're going to find out about the Wallace Fountains, their history, their purpose, and how you can find them. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Barbara Lambesis, and I'm lucky to live in Paris part time. Today I'm standing next to a Wallace Fountain one of the most iconic fixtures on the Paris streetscape. There are 100 of these drinking fountains scattered throughout Paris, and they have great historical, cultural, artistic, social, and charitable significance. They were a gift to the citizens of Paris from an Englishman named Richard Wallace. In 1870, the siege of Paris during the Franco-Prussian War and the commune period that followed destroyed much of the infrastructure that brought clean drinking water to Paris. Clean water became expensive and hard to obtain, and as a result, the poor and working class population found it cheaper and sometimes safer to hydrate on beer and wine. Richard Wallace witnessed firsthand the devastating effects of alcoholism and drunkenness on the health and the well-being of the people in poor neighborhoods because they didn't have access to clean water. He wanted to do something about it. Wallace could have funded some utilitarian water spigots and drinking spouts around the city and Parisians would have been grateful. But Richard Wallace was an art connoisseur and he had a bigger vision for the fountains beyond the practical function of delivering clean water. He wanted the fountains to be works of art. He wanted them to be symbolic and inspirational and he wanted them to be beautiful to enhance their surroundings, and he wanted them to be lasting. Caryatids are classical Greco-Roman female figures that are used as columns to hold up a dome or a pediment. These four caryatids represent the four human virtues of kindness, generosity, simplicity, and sobriety. The first 50 drinking fountains were installed in Paris beginning in 1872. So you see, they are almost 150 years old. And, the Wall and as Wallace had hoped, they have endured the test of time. Today, 100 grand model Wallace fountains are scattered all around Paris. And they can be found on grand boulevards and avenues, small neighborhood squares and back streets. Searching for the Wallace Fountains is like a treasure hunt, and it's lots of fun. I know, because I've found them all, and I've put together a bilingual guidebook for others to find them too. Find the Wallace Fountains, Find Paris is a guidebook that provides 21 self-guided walks to locate all the fountains in Paris. Each walk can be done in a half a day or less, and they're perfect for family or group outings and ideal for individual walkers. While searching for the fountains, you'll encounter the city's hidden treasures in areas of Paris rich in beauty, heritage, and vibrancy, and most without tourists. As a result, by searching for the fountains, you will come to know the real Paris. You can get a copy of the guidebook right here at Shakespeare and Company, the famous bookstore, or by making a qualifying donation to the Society of the Wallace Fountains a nonprofit organization dedicated to preserving and protecting the Wallace Fountains. Their website is www.wallacefountains.org and all proceeds from the book benefit the work of the society. So get a copy of the guidebook today and go searching for fountains. It's lots of fun. And along the way you'll discover the real Paris, this wonderful, ever surprising grand lady of the continent. While you're searching for the fountains, bring along a water bottle to fill and quench your thirst. Water from the Wallace Fountains is perfectly safe to drink. When you pass by or drink from a fountain, be reminded to choose kindness over cruelty, generosity over selfishness, simplicity over confusing complexity, and sobriety over debilitating drunkenness. That is what Richard Wallace intended when he gave the iconic fountains to the city of Paris. And that is what we can do to thank him for his lasting gift. Cheers.